Welcome back to Tease London. I'm Tech Hench, and we're back in King of Retail. Today, I have actually skipped forward a little bit. So I've done two days, so that's why I've got a little bit more money. But today, what I'm going to try and do is possibly get a member of staff. Not entirely sure if I'm going to have enough money. I might need to do a day first just to build up a little bit more. But what I want is a member of staff just to go and talk to the customers and help them, convince them to buy stuff. Seems that part of the game I don't really like doing, to be honest, so that's what I'm going to do. I've already ordered the stock for today, or the next day, I should say. So let's have a look what members of staff we've actually got to choose from. Now, they have changed this since I've last played the game, so I'm not entirely sure what you need to do. So let's have a look through the people that we've got. So I'm guessing we just need to sort of guess which one we want in my little gas station interesting greetings hench let's interview them let's see okay yes yeah, so this has changed quite a bit it's actually sales that we're interested in so I don't think this person is going to be any good so let's just quit see ya I suppose it's a petrol station people need petrol all the time so although I suppose you can sell extra stuff so let's have a look what else we've got So that, that uh, she might be okay. Let's have a look. Okay, she looks nothing like the picture she had. But it looks like she's quite good at sales. Current skill. In terms of wage, oh, this is an hour, so... Let's go in. Let's go in low. 25. Bended, okay. Let's go in slightly higher then. 20, 31. Okay. Let's go in a lot higher. 65. She's going to cost me a lot more money than I was hoping. I can't go 100, otherwise I'm not going to make any money. Go 85. Okay, fair enough. If you don't want to work with me, that's fine. We'll just find somebody else. Let's see what else there is. So, blah, 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 no... No. You will do. Let's have a look. So still got some sales skills, which is great. I think we're just going to go straight in at 50 this time. Okay. Let's go straight to 75. Okay, 90. Fair enough, there we go, 90. 90 day. Brilliant. So let's go back. So hopefully on the chart now. Yes, he's appeared up there. Brilliant. So this has actually changed since the last time I played. So before you could only like do a day at a time or something like that, or a week at a time. We want to make him work every day though for now. Sign him to... Sign 
salah. Oh dear, I select all of them. Let's do... So that's this week. Give him Thursday off. Friday. There we go. And Saturday and Sunday. Let's give, let's give him Wednesday off as well. Assign for all day. There we go. Don't know if he's actually going to work all day. But we'll find out. So start work. End work. Maybe that might be better. Oops, no, we don't want to do that. He's going to start at 10, finish at 6. I think that's quite good. Now just putting the break. Okay. So give him a break at 1 o'clock on there, and 12 o'clock on these days. And Thursday's got off. Okay, so I think that's it. Day off. So hopefully it'll turn up tomorrow. We will see. Let's come out of this. And do we need to do anything else? Or should we start the next day? Let's start the next day. So I know sometimes they didn't always start the next day. They always end up having, or the staff ended up having the next day off when you've hired them. So we'll see if he turns up today. It's Sunday, so he probably will come around 10 o'clock. Hopefully just before. And we have got some restocking to do. Okay, we've got these already. Let's unpack. So what it will mean is I can concentrate on the selling store on the cashier, on the checkout, and do the unpacking and the restocking. Let's go unpack this. Depending on how much money I've got, I might look at trying to do some decorating as well. I don't know if you can do that while the store's open. I used to be able to. Because before, when I was trying to place them pallets, it didn't work on the day off. Or when the store was open, I mean. So, who knows. That's them full. So hopefully we've got these out. So quite a few of these on the last day. There we go. And let's put them out as well. So luckily these are nearly all gone. And the top line. And we can fill some more stuff up in there. And on this one. Hopefully it'll give us a bit more room here. The store's open, so... Hopefully we'll get some people in. While we're waiting for them, let's see if we can actually do some painting. I want to paint the walls. Of course, should we paint them? A minute. Maybe a white. So we can have brick. No good asking for help now, mate. Okay, some of these are awful. Maybe that looks pretty good. Certainly for part of the store, anyway. In fact, for now, let's just paint the whole lot in that colour. There we go. Let's have a look at the ceiling. So paint the floor. So, did I already do the floor? I think I did. Here he is. 
fucking sharp in his uniform. Shame we've got no customers right now, but what are you going to do? Can I actually go and talk to him? Yes, I can. Interesting. Seeing as I've got a member of staff now as well, I suppose I should put some stuff in the staff room. At least somewhere to go and sit while he's on his break. So I've got a sale, brilliant. This might be the first sale of the day, which is not very good really. I'm saying it's nearly 11 o'clock. Get over there and help her. So I feel like we need something here. So let's have a look what we can do with signs. I've not actually used these yet. Okay, maybe it's not the best time now to look at the signs. 260, that's not bad. Looks like we've got another cell coming in as well. Another 260. So now they've gone, let's have a look what we can do. So we want a wall sign. Like that. These are really expensive, 650. So let's go. What do? I don't actually know how you do this. Okay, I'll look at how you do that for the next episode, I think. And then I think what we'll do is have a sign here and maybe one like here. Which will look pretty cool. Maybe for some shoes or something. Plenty of people waiting to come in. So I wonder how you... Can you actually get people to wait outside and get them to come in? I don't know. At the minute, I'm paying for this guy, and he's doing, well, pretty much nothing. So it might be, unfortunately, if we don't make enough sales, he might end up being sacked. Do you pay for them when they're on the break? I don't know. Interesting, I don't know what that is. Okay, you can set workable areas as well. Been a bit of a quiet day today. Can we tell? Winning. Although the store is open till I think it was 8 tonight. So you never know, we might have a bit of a last minute rush. Hi, seconds. So when we need, what is his actual name? Waki? Wakwell? Who knows? Yeah, here he is. So go and help. A little help. Okay, so we're getting a, quite a few people in at the minute. We've got a cell already, which is brilliant. 260. Hey, can you help me? Looks like he's doing a good job anyway for the people that oh, you know, he's going. Didn't buy anything. Made him happy, but didn't go buy anything. Brilliant. Six thirty. Wow, that was pretty cool. I think that's probably the most we've s sold in one go at the minute. Got people queuing up now. That's brilliant. Ok, 
Okay, let's go and restock. A person ready for... So I think the record so far is 18 pairs of shoes in a day. Am I going to beat that? Not looking too bad at the minute. Does it actually tell you anywhere how many you've sold in today? Don't know if it does. So if I remember rightly, the, to buy the additional like pieces of store or to expand the store is actually quite expensive. Something like ten thousand or something like that. So we are going to have to go a few days of making some decent profit to actually be able to expand the store. I'm hoping as we kind of put more stuff in, we'll get some more products. I think because I think we we'll probably fit another one here. In fact. Let's just serve this person. Let's see if we can do that now. So, women's wear and shoes. What's the difference then? Nothing. Another two three seventies sold. Thanks. This isn't going to go here, is it? No. Let's not lose these sales. Unless one of these will move back slightly. See if we can move it. I suppose we can reposition it like that. Yeah, let's do that. Then we should be able to fit another one here. Though it doesn't look doesn't look quite as interesting. So if that one goes there, this one goes there, this one goes like that. Does that look weird? It does. With these two facing the same way. So let's face, let's turn this one round, like so. Still looks weird. So let's move this one there, this one there, and this one. There. We can probably then have something else here. That so will mean that we can have a different type of shoe on here for the next one. Got quite a bit of money as well, so let's see if we can. What else can we buy? Interesting. Why not? Let's have one of them anyway. Uh, how do they fit on there then? I think what we'll do on that one, we'll buy, find the most expensive shoe that, that you can get and put them on that. 
Okay, looks like I'm now left on my own. Sorry, you're going to have to help yourself. Let's get some of these restocked though. Yeah, so I want a different style on here. Different expensive style on here. And that will then be good. So I think that is the store closed. For the day, it is. It's, so let's leave. So you're going to be interesting because wages is 812. So it is going to drop our profit down quite a bit. I think having a member of staff was probably... I'm hoping he bought in more money anyway than he cost us. So let's have a look what extra shoes we can buy. I know I've ended up turning this into a shoe store, which I wasn't going to just do shoes. And I, I think down the line I won't just do shoes, but for now it seems perfectly fine. Let's do some more women's shoes, because we've got plenty of men's. So we've got heels and boots. We haven't got any heels yet. Or do we just stick to the casual ones for now? Yeah, I think we'll just stick for, to the casual ones for now. So we've got some 260 ones here. There on the sneakers. Let's have a look at casual. Yeah, it's quite a few different types of these. 260 looks to be the most expensive though. Seems with more kind of sports shoes at the minute. Let's stick with sports shoes, I think. Quite like that one, so let's have them. We're going to buy 10 of them. Okay, we've got enough money, yes. So they're going to go on the round table. So we want two others. Let's go with casual ones, I think. The cheapest, maybe some flip flops. They look like no idea what they're supposed to be. They look like slippers, but I don't know if they are. Maybe we'll go with some. No, we don't want to go real cheap. What do we? Oh, we've got them ones, I think, haven't we? So let's stick with sneakers then. Maybe something like this because we haven't got any women's ones of these. Colour should we go for? Let's go for them. Why not them? Let's get ten of them. In fact, we want two lots, don't we? So they look pretty cool. So let's go ten of them. Brings us to a total of six thousand. Let's get that because we want to also reorder nine thousand. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff. I think we can probably get rid of them and them. Which still leaves it as 9-4. Uh, okay, let's get just 8 of them. And that's 8,000, so that should be okay. So we sold 29 items. That was pretty good, actually. Hit rate of 40%, which is probably not great. So we had 68 visitors, and only 27 people bought things. So, okay. Let's start the next day. Still got a little bit of money left in the bank. Can't quite remember what time. Um, I really need to learn what his name is. We can't do this just yet because we. Here's the delivery. Just walk through the door. That's it. And people are coming, starting to come past already. 
So I think 9 o'clock is the opening time today. Let's unpack all this. Probably getting to the point where I've probably got too much stock. I want to get these out anyway, at least. Storage is full, so let's see if we can do that. And it's that one. Those women's shoes, sneakers. Yes, we can. So I'd be interested to see how these look on there. Okay. Pretty cool. And let's add them other ones. Got the casual. They weren't. Okay, let's get these filled up then. Just give me a bit more room in the uh, stock room so I can unpack the other boxes. And have we got any more room on these? No, we haven't. So it's these ones that I think we want. Them and no, it's the cheap streets. Unpack. Keep forgetting to pop out and just make sure I'm not actually selling stuff and then not collecting it. Actually, let's get the them yellow ones. So women's oh. There we go. Them and just them. Perfect. Thanks. They're looking good. So this side of the store is almost starting to I suppose then, if we move them over there, almost starting to look like the kind of women's side over here, the men's side here. So I think this is our first sale of the day, which is not very good really. I'm saying it's almost 11 o'clock. We've got two. Well, he's about 5.50, so that's pretty good. Probably not going to sell as many as we did yesterday, just because one day, uh, the store's not as open as long anyway, so... I don't actually know if it goes on kind of a pattern because yeah, I suppose you'd expect Saturday and Sunday to spell, send, to sell more items, but I don't know if it works like that. The game's clever enough to know the day and how many it should sell on, how many customers it should send in on the day. Still only sold two pairs, although we've sold one of the expensive pairs. That's pretty good. That must have been the guy that spent 550. So don't forget, if you've got a suggestion on what currency I should make the game use, drop a comment down below. I haven't chosen which one to use yet. Might end up using one of the crypto currencies. So if you've got a suggestion which one I should put, yeah, like I say, leave it in the comments below. Where's everyone gone? Not one customer. I think today's going to be a bad day. Got more shoes. Got more selection. Shoes. Hey, a little. Are you going to come in? No. Well, that didn't work. It looks like I'm helping you. And what would I recommend? I would recommend these. Perfect. Sell article. Not buying them. I don't know. That's it. Come and do your job. I know you're on a break, but you know. I am paying you. Look, she needs help now. Come on. Hurry up with him. Thanks. Is he buying anything? Yes, nice one. Nice coloured hair there, look at that. Nice and blue. 
Oh, she's off. Brilliant. Did a bad job there. Six eighty, so that was pretty good. I think that's is that the highest? I think it might be. The highest I remember anyway. Hey, a little help. Let's get some of these restocked. Thank you. Hey, have a minute. Did he come back? I'm sure she was here earlier. Let's not miss this guy. Thanks. Might be on for a new record. 860, wow. You're going crazy for these expensive trainers. Did she actually buy anything? Don't know. Find out. How much she spent? This could be another record. Nine twenty. Maybe we need to put some more of the real expensive shoes in here. So obviously they're going crazy for them. So it looks like quite a few people are actually buying pet. Well, certainly today are buying two pairs. Thank you. Thanks. Where do we need to restock? So definitely on here. Excuse me. I think we haven't got any more of them, but that's fine. We've still got three pairs left to sell. Thanks. Which one's a 550 then? Sell for 550. Or did he buy two pairs? Notice. So actually, the, this afternoon has actually turned out pretty well. Because this the morning I was worried that we weren't going to sell anything or we're only going to sell a small number of items but we're actually doing pretty well okay it looks like that dress that that they wear just gets repeated several times obviously popular yeah you just want some of these trainers buy some of these no obviously not interested so we need you need to improve your sales te technique Should be selling left, right, and center. Hey, a little help. Come on, faster. Two people waiting for you. I'll just stand here. Thanks. Where are you going? He's over there. He's gone. That should be a sackable offense. Well, you talked him into buying something, so that's pretty good. So, it looks like... Was it 5 o'clock? I can't remember. I wish I could remember which time the times I opened these stores to. I thought it was 5 o'clock. Well, he's off anyway, so... Must have been 5 o'clock. I don't think there's a great deal of else we can do now. Because we haven't actually got... Let's just have a look. Oh, we've still got these still back. Might as well do that before the day ends. There's not... Actually, okay. Not enough time. That's fine. Still had a pretty good day. 17 articles sold. That's pretty good. Right, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, like button if you enjoyed the episode. And why not subscribe to watch see more King of Retail. 
and I will see you next time.